Many believe that Tesla was founded by the world's richest person, Elon Musk. But you may be amazed to hear that Elon Musk only invested $6.5 million in Tesla and became the majority shareholder. Today, Elon Musk's investment of $6.5 million is worth at least $142 billion. In 2007, Elon Musk used his influence and removed Martin Eberhard and he himself became CEO of Tesla. In 2008, Martin Eberhard was removed from the board and company and Musk removed 25% of Tesla employees. Tesla was on the verge of bankruptcy, but Musk saved it by taking $40 billion of debt. In 2009, Martin Eberhard sued Elon Musk, saying that Elon Musk is trying to rewrite the history of Tesla and trying to take credit for the development of all the Tesla cars. Tesla has a revenue of $53.8 billion and it has 110,000 employees. It is the biggest car company in the world with a market cap of $834 billion. And the second biggest is Toyota, whose market cap is just $192 billion. Europe's biggest car company, Volkswagen, has a market cap of just $76.94 billion. Currently, there is no company that can beat Tesla in the electric car market, and many believe electric cars are the future. Want to know how Martin Eberhard founded the biggest car company in the world? Watch the full video! We at Business Chronicles tell the stories of extraordinarily successful people. Please subscribe to our channel to help us in making more videos. Martin Eberhard was born in Berkeley, California on May 15, 1960. Although there are not many public records of his formative years, he was said to be quite handy and crafty even from a very young age. Eberhard earned bachelor's in computer engineering in 1982 and master's in electrical engineering in 1984, both from the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign. For his first job out of college, Eberhard went to work for Wise Technology as an electrical engineer where he created the WY-30 ASCII computer terminal. In 1987, Eberhard co-founded Network Computing Devices, and he stayed on as chief engineer there until the company went public in 1992. In 1996, Eberhard and Mark Tarpening established Nuvo Media and created the Rocket eBook, the first eBook to offer encrypted online content distribution. Until Gemstar acquired Nuvo Media in 2000, Eberhard served as chairman and CEO of the company. The combination of Eberhard's passion for sports cars, his concern about the nation's reliance on foreign oil, and his awareness of climate change prompted him to consider electric vehicles as a potential solution. He learned about the AC Propulsion T0, a prototype electric sports car, and attempted to buy one. He helped pay for and gave technical advice for the T-Zero's upgrade to lithium-ion power. After that, Eberhard approached Alan Cochoni, founder of AC Propulsion, with the idea of making the T-Zero into a mass-produced vehicle. After Cochoni turned him down, Eberhard co-founded Tesla Motors with Mark Tarpening in 2003 and took over as the company's first CEO. Tesla Motors is based in Menlo Park, California. This is a testament to the fact that Eberhard has always been a tenacious entrepreneur who'd go the extra mile to succeed. In establishing Tesla Motors, these were Eberhard's guiding principles. First guiding principle. An electric vehicle should not be a second-rate option. There is potential for electric cars to outperform conventional vehicles if the appropriate technological decisions are made during production. Second guiding principle. Battery technology is the key to a successful electric car. Not only are lithium-ion batteries safe for use in automobiles, but they also significantly improve driving range. Third guiding principle. The electric drive can significantly surpass internal combustion engines. Therefore, well-designed electric automobiles can appeal to even the most dedicated car enthusiasts. In 2006, Tesla Motors revealed that the prototype version of the Tesla Roadster a fully electric car has a range of 245 miles on a single charge, setting a new record. Additional testing revealed that the $98,000 sports car could reach a high speed of 125 miles per hour and accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 4 seconds. The carbon fiber used to construct the body significantly reduced the car's weight. Since it didn't have an internal combustion engine, the Roadster didn't emit any harmful gases out the back. 
According to Tesla Motors, the vehicle achieved fuel economy levels equivalent to 135 miles per gallon on gasoline, or 57 kilometers per liter. The electric motor was rechargeable by a conventional electrical outlet and was powered by lithium-ion cells similar to those found in laptop computers. Eberhardt owns and operates the Model S, the second vehicle in the first production run of Tesla Motors Roadster in 2008. The EPA-estimated range of the Tesla Roadster, a battery electric sports car, is 244 miles. In a press statement dated November 30, 2007, Tesla announced that Martin Eberhard, co-founder of Tesla Motors, would be moving to an advisory role with the company. Apparently, as reported by Fortune magazine, Elon Musk urged Eberhard to quit. In an interview, Musk claimed that the reason was not ideological disagreements, but rather that he could not see a place for Eberhard. Eberhard mentioned that he was unhappy with the changeover, but he had signed a non-disclosure agreement with Tesla. So I must, by contract, be a bit careful about how I word things, he said. In his Tesla Founders blog, which has since been taken down, Eberhard noted that Tesla layoffs were a stealth bloodbath. Eberhard sued Elon Musk in June 2009 for libel, defamation, and breach of contract, claiming that Musk was responsible for forcing him out of the company, publicly disparaging him, and endangering Tesla's financial stability. In August 2009, he withdrew the lawsuit for unexplained reasons. A Tesla representative declined to comment on the change, implying that both parties may have agreed to settle out of court. In September 2009, Tesla confirmed the settlement but did not disclose any other information. In an October 2019 interview with CNBC, Eberhard reaffirmed his status as a Tesla stakeholder and expressed his continued support for the company. Following his departure from Tesla Motors, Eberhard worked for Volkswagen for two years as Director of Electric Vehicle Development. In September 2016, Eberhard started the stealth mode company called Inevit, with the goal of supplying major OEMs with electric drivetrains and power storage solutions. Inevit was purchased by SF Motors, now known as Ceres, in October 2017. Until his departure in July 2018, Eberhard worked as the company's chief innovation officer. In 2019, Eberhard created Teveni, a company that produces intelligent EV battery solutions. Teveni has offices in the Bay Area of California and in Germany. Heiner Fies, a Bosch engineer and co-founder of Inevit, heads the German division. He has presented lectures all around the world on topics such as the reasons and techniques for reducing the use of fossil fuels the advantages of an electric drive over other automotive technologies, and the necessity for more young people to pursue degrees and jobs in science and engineering. Currently, he sits on the boards of directors and advisory boards of many cutting-edge early-stage Silicon Valley startups. Additionally, he engages in a small amount of angel investing within the renewable energy sector. Since 1984, Martin Eberhard has provided annual support to the University of Illinois College of Engineering. He is not precisely known to play to the gallery, and most of his charitable donations or philanthropy are not in public records. Martin Eberhard had a vision of building electric cars. Many people wanted to build electric cars, but that was easier said than done. Due to Martin Eberhard's vision and efforts, we can easily assume that in the future, there will be only electric cars. Though Martin Eberhard was a good engineer, he lacked business acumen. The good thing was, he knew his shortcomings and he got Elon Musk to run the business side of the company. This move became very successful and with the help of Elon Musk, Martin Eberhard built the best cars we see today. Due to these cars, Tesla became the largest car company in the world. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this.